Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a Windows 11 virtual machine on Proxmox. We will guide you through the configuration process step by step. First, you need to download the Windows 11 ISO from the Microsoft website. The link can be found in the description below. Choose the language that you need and click on Confirm. To start the download, click on the 64-bit download button. When the download is completed, you will find the ISO file in your downloads folder. You will now need to download the Windows Vert IO drivers file from the Proxmox website. The link is provided in the description. In the middle of the page, click on the link to download the latest stable version. When the download is completed, you will find the two ISO files in your downloads folder. From your Proxmox node, select your local drive and then choose the option ISO Images. Next, click on the Upload button and select the Windows ISO file to start the upload process. Now, upload the Vert.io ISO file from your download folder to the designated location on your system. Now that all prerequisites are completed, we can start creating your virtual machine. Select your Proxmox node and click on the Create VM button. You should change the VM ID to your preferred ID and enter a name for your VM. Activate the option Start at Boot and click Next. From the OS tab, select the Windows ISO from the list ISO image and then choose Microsoft Windows from the list type. Check the box at Additional Drive for Vert IO drivers. This will allow you to select the Vert IO Drivers ISO file. Now on the System tab, where you can specify your desired FI storage and TPM storage configurations. Once you've made your selections, click Next to proceed. On the Disk tab, specify the size of the disk you wish to allocate to your Windows VM. For example, you may allocate 256 GB. Click Next when completed. On the CPU tab, you can specify to use the host CPU type, which may improve performance for certain applications. Additionally, allocate the desired number of sockets and cores. On the Memory tab, specify the amount of memory to allocate to your VM. In this example, we will allocate 16 GB. On the Network tab, select Intel E1000 from the model list. If you choose to keep the default Vert IO option, please note that you will need to install the driver for your network card to be available. If your network card is inactive during the Windows installation, you may encounter issues that lead to the screen capture displayed, potentially preventing you from updating Windows. In the final step, ensure all parameters are correct. You have the option to select Start after creation if desired, but I will start it manually. Click on your new VM and select Console from the menu. When prompted, start your VM and be prepared to press any key on your keyboard to begin booting Windows from a CD drive. This will initiate the normal Windows installation process. Select the appropriate options for your location and proceed by clicking Next. Enter your license key or click on the option if you don't have a license. Next, select the Windows version you want to use. I recommend installing the Pro version to have access to remote desktop for accessing your VM later. Check the box if you agree with the Microsoft license terms. Select the custom installation. Next. Click on the Load Driver option to install your hard drive driver from the Vert IO drive. Select the M60 for folder, then the Win11 folder, and click the OK button. This will install the Vert IO driver for the pass through controller. When the installation is completed, you will now see the drive that you configured earlier with the size that you defined. Click on the Next button to start the Windows 11 installation process. Windows will reboot when this portion of the installation is completed. Select your country or region, then click on the Yes button. Select your keyboard layout, then click on the Yes button to confirm. You can also add another keyboard layout if needed. This is the portion of the installation process where you may encounter issues if your network card is not activated. You will now need to name your Windows 11 VM. 
select whether this virtual machine will be used for personal or work purposes. You will now be able to sign into your Microsoft account to access all your documents in Windows Backup. You can either restore a backup from a previous installation for your files and configuration, or you can configure this VM as a new installation. You can now create a PIN to sign in your Windows VM. Choose your privacy settings for this VM. You can skip the setup or select to use predefined settings for optimization. I will skip this section as I don't have an Android phone. Except if you want to synchronize your browser history. This is the last step of the installation process. Your Windows VM will start for the first time. Now the installation is complete. We will do additional settings to finalize the full installation. In Device Manager, we will verify that all devices are activated. If any device is inactive, we will locate the specific driver from the Vert IO drive. Please verify that all your devices are activated. It is possible to validate your hardware configuration by examining your CPU and memory to ensure that they match the settings configured in your VM. This verification ensures that the allocated resources align with the specified VM configuration. Next, we will ensure that available Windows updates are applied to your VM. This process may take some time to complete and will involve several reboots. You may want to activate the remote desktop option or install any application that allows remote access to your VM. You can also watch my tutorial on how to access your VM using Parsec. Your Windows VM is now available. This completes the entire installation process.